This video is about the Sudeten crisis which led to the Munich Agreement. These events happened in the year 1938. In the end, the German Empire annexed the Sudetenland. It was a conflict between Germany and Czechoslovakia, but at the Munich Conference there were also France, the United Kingdom and Italy. To the background of the prehistory, Germany and Austria-Hungary lost the First World War, and then the map of Europe should change significantly. New countries were emerging, and one of these states was Czechoslovakia. In Czechoslovakia, there were not only Czechs and Slovaks living, but also minorities of Poles, Hungarians and Sudeten Germans. In 1933, the Nazis took over in Germany, and now the aggressive policy of expansion started. 1933 was the same year when the Sudeten German party under Konrad Heinlein gained influence. They followed the policy of autonomy and segregation, to say the least. In November 1937, Hitler revealed his plans of annexing Austria and Czechoslovakia to the military. The public learned about his ambitions in February 1938. Hitler said he will enforce the right of Germans abroad to self-determination. And that translates into nothing else than he wanted to annex these countries. The first country he annexed was Austria. This Austrian Anschluss triggered demonstrations in the Sudetenland. Their slogan was home to the empire. Heinlein demanded from the government in Prague autonomy and reparations. The other minorities in Czechoslovakia copied him. But... The president, President Banish, rejected all of these demands. Now the pressure was mounting on Czechoslovakia and the forces were partially mobilized. But the pressure was mounting even further because Goering could persuade Poland and Hungary to demand territory from Czechoslovakia as well. Then 750,000 German troops moved into position near the Czechoslovakian border. Officially, that was maneuvers, but everybody understood an invasion is, pre is prepared. Then Hitler gave a speech, saying, I will not tolerate the suppression of the national comrades in Czechoslovakia. This triggered riots in the Sudetenland. So it was a very, very explosive situation. The British Prime Minister Chamberlain came to Germany to discuss the situation with Hitler and he learned of Hitler's demands of annexing the Sudetenland. Yeah, as there was appeasement policy at the time, he discussed the whole thing with Daladier from France and they agreed, okay, let's give the Sudetenland to the Germans. The Czechs were not really asked, they had to agree to the Anglo-French plan. But then, on the next meeting, Chamberlain learned that Hitler will not accept this. He wanted now that the entirety of Czechoslovakia will, will be divided. And then war was looming. There was general mobilization in Czechoslovakia, and the French mobilized parts of their army. And then we have the Munich Conference with Daladier for France, Chamberlain for the UK, Mussolini for Italy, and Hitler for Germany. They came to the agreement now that Germany will just annex the Sudetenland. And on the 1st of October, the German military marches into this territory. Poland and Hungary annexed also Czechoslovakian territories in the time following. In March 1939, Czechoslovakia dissolved herself, Slovakia became a German puppet state, and Germany annexed the rest of Czechoslovakia in the West. The military resistance in Germany had a plan to remove Hitler from power, but this failed because the Munich Conference let Hitler appear as a peacemaker in the population. In 1938, an imminent war was prevented. However, it should take less than a year and Germany would start the Second World War by attacking Poland on the 1st of September 1939. This peace policy of Chamberlain and Daladier proved definitely wrong, and therefore there is a widely shared opinion now, appeasement does not work.
That was the Sudeten crisis and the Munich Agreement in five.